All right, welcome back to training vlog number six. So today is the 17th of July, uh, Friday evening. Training so far this week has been pretty good. Uh, so on Tuesday, I touched my kind of heavy slash single for, that, for this week so far, and I hit a very easy 140, so. When I came into the session, I didn't feel I didn't feel kind of amazing. But um, the week before, I hit one thirty five. I was pretty happy with that. But then I when this air warming up, I hit one twenty. I knew I was going to hit something pretty decent. So I haven't hit one forty. So that's over ninety percent. So I haven't done that in about six weeks, maybe, um, which is very good. It was very very easy. Best one forty I've possibly ever done. Uh, really happy with that. I could have definitely done one forty five. Uh, didn't feel hard at all. So. Um, Nothing else really notable in that session. Uh, then on Wednesday, I was going doing my jerk from rack from the front, and I planned for 170 for three from the front rack, but my elbows have been kind of uh, just a little bit raw, a little bit sore down the insertion point here. So I just warmed up gently with some behind the neck jerks, which I absolutely never do, and I've never pushed them very far in the behind the neck split jerk. But then I worked up to 170, which was incredibly easy. So I'll uh, pop that up there. I was very happy with that. Um, I might keep pushing that, I'll see how it goes. Um, so today's session will be looking at kind of sash doubles again, uh, probably up to 130, waves up to 130, then a clean and jerk single, anywhere between 140 and 165. So I'm still just kind of practicing clean and jerks at the moment. Uh, not really pushing hard on the, uh, on the volume of the clean and jerks or the intensity, just practicing the skill, it'll come back to me in time so and then so my one rm at the moment is 240 in the back squat so i'm aiming to hit about 85 percent again so previously last week i did 205 for sets of three five or three so tonight i'm looking for a 205 for sets of five and uh, between three to five sets depends how it is i'll probably say somewhere between four sets and then after that i'll do a little bit of clean deadlifts again they're feeling pretty strong again at the moment so up to 210 for three is pretty easy the other night like uh, I'll probably stick with 210 tonight, or probably 205, I'll just leave the bar loaded. Um, and I'll do sets of three in that, I'd probably. Uh, okay, I'll see you around 100 kilos, 110 kilos.
All right, okay. Okay, well at least that's a good video for YouTube. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I worry if the vlog is gonna be any good, but uh, yeah, that was good. Um, Satches, so I was a little bit fatigued, but that makes sense, so it's later in the week, so I should be more fatigued. So I ate what I wanted. Um, I needed two waves, so I got up to 130 in two waves. Uh, if I had if I had done more clean and jerks recently and I was better kind of if I was kind of where closer to better shape at them I would have done another wave because I could have afforded it but I wanted to still concentrate on the skill of um, doing the clean and jerks so um, I want to stay a little bit fresher because you don't want to be trying to practice the skill under lots of fatigue so I got to 130 technique was a teeny bit off but that was just from fatigue um minor fatigue and it was still good i hit what i wanted and what i planned to do uh clean and jerks still the movement is still a bit funny uh the jerk was pretty good tonight um what i'm really trying to focus on is changing the dip and try fast so as soon as i hit the bottom of the dip coming out fast and i got up to 155 so i just did three singles i was actually wanting to go 60 but i loaded the bar like a dickhead and um i just didn't have any more i didn't want to have to take off the plates and, and the 25 so i just did three singles at 155. uh it doesn't really matter it was just heavier weights uh but at third clean and jerk i felt like it was a little bit better uh now they weren't bad they were they were solid um the cleans weren't as good as they are when i'm doing cleans by themselves and that's because i'm kind of expending mental capital again on doing the clean and the jerk as opposed to just the clean so i felt like i was kind of pulling on here instead of letting the bar get to here but still not Kind of, it was still a little bit away from me. I think the distance here was too great, um, and it was a little bit loose. So instead of being really close all the way up, and then nice and tight in here, it was a little bit kind of a little bit distant. Still, the cleans weren't too bad overall. Jerks are good. Um, it's just that I am rushing the clean a little bit because I'm doing a clean and a jerk in my head. So like I was saying last vlog, that it just takes a little bit of um. I'll get back there. So it felt pretty strong. Um, the rhythm was almost there, so I felt like a sliver of what a good clean and jerk might be in the last, on the third single at 155. So that is definitely something. Um, I'm, I keep going to cleans by themselves for another week or maybe two. But after that, then I'll probably just start hitting up. I'll probably add in two clean and jerks next week and one clean. So kind of titrate out the cleans by themselves. But I still want to hit heavier cleans for reps. And then I'll start adding in volume clean and jerk supposed to just singles and practicing the skill. Um, elbows are a little bit sore warming up and that's probably partially why I was a little bit fucky with the cleans. But uh, I actually felt quite good near the last clean and jerk. I think they warmed up to it a little bit. Got to the squats. So like I said, I needed... Um, so last time, I, so my max is 240. It's not my max. Um, but so I'm working off that as my 1RM. About 85% is where I want to be working most times. So last time I did 15 total reps in sets of three. So tonight I went to 20 total reps and I did it in sets of five. So four by five at 205. Um, so just increasing volume. Uh, and that's how you progress really is more volume at heavier weight. Um, so first set was a little bit off, second set was a little bit better. Third set was okay. Uh, fourth set was probably the best. So it was decent, I'm very happy with that. Um, yeah, so they were really good. Um, I love squatting with uh, like loud metal, good music, some trivium. It's just that is that is um, that would be my drug of choice. Uh, that last step was just looking at it. Technique was the best. Um, I'm so happy with how the squats going on knee sleeves. Um, I will next session. So I'll be doing next squat session. Be front squats in two days time. Do some volume with those and then i'll probably do a heavier set of three in the back squat either mid next week or late next week so we'll see if i get that for the vlog or not um so yeah it was pretty good and then i just did two like token sets of the lifts at 205 sets of three they felt pretty easy so it's good just to keep that up um i don't like doing it's not smart to do a lot of volume on your um lot on squats slash and cleans or yeah clean and jerks and then move to a lot of volume in deadlifts uh, especially when I keep technique good in the deadlifts, but they felt quite good. Um, if I'd done less volume on the squats, I would have done maybe another set or two at a heavier weight in the clean deadlifts, but that's that's pretty good. Um, pretty happy the elbows felt a little better because they're quite, it's kind of inflamed in here, it's just kind of tightness. It's not, it doesn't feel like an injury because, especially when there's both of them. I, um, so I think it's just a little bit of tightness in my tricep, just a little inflammation. 
um, it'll go away itself. Uh, I'll just pay a little bit of attention to this. I'll get something to stand on my tricep bone. Uh, so no assistance work tonight. Um, so yeah, overall, everything's going good. Um, I don't think there's anything specific that I need to tell you about, so I kind of explained what I was in there. So if you're kind of wondering yourself, so for squats, basically any training really, you want to always be increasing volume, but you need to be able to tolerate that volume. So you can't just go from, let's say you've learned, so we'll do a better video on this, but I'll give you a really quick rundown here, just in the vlog, like very quick. So if you do 20 reps at a weight, next time you want to do 30, 25 reps or 30 reps, you want to increase your volume of that weight. That's how you progress. That's how you force the adaption, you know, but you've got to be very careful because you need to know what you can recover from. And obviously I know I can recover from 20 reps at 205. Um, so I'll maybe go for 230 for set of three. Depends how I feel. Uh, I might go for a single, like a one RM, so I might hit 250, and that'll bring up my 85% or my 80-85%, and I'll use that as my new working kind of max. But yeah, overall pretty good. Um, I was happy to snatch the squats, clean and jerk. I was happy to jerk, but I'm pretty annoyed about the clean. But overall good. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate, really, really appreciate the enthusiasm on these vlogs. Um, it means an awful lot to me. Um, I do really enjoy doing them. And I am um, be interested to see where this goes. The training, very happy with this. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.